Hi guys. So in last video, we saw how we can compare two different commit points. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn about branching. So what happens now if any organization you are going to join? So there some code base will be there. Okay. And that code base will be called as master. Okay. And in this master, nobody will be working directly on this. Okay. So what happens? Suppose there are four or five testers. For example, take these four testers are there in a team. Okay. So what will happen? So for every testers, one separate branch will get created. For example, working branch for A, working branch for B, working branch for C, and working branch for D. This name can be anything just to make it more understandable. I have just given name like this. Okay. Working branch for A, B, C, and D respectively. Okay. So these branches will get created and this branch will be having every changes what this master is having. Suppose if anybody has created one branch and then whatever files and folders and everything, whatever was there in master branch, it will be available to their working directory. Okay. This working branch also. Now, now everybody is having their own branch to work. Okay. Now tester A started working on something. B started, C started, D started. Once they will be done with their work. Okay. What they will do, they will commit the changes to their local. Okay. So in previous videos, we can see like in their in locally, they can commit it. Okay. After making commit in their local gate, get what they will do. They will raise one pull request. Okay. Pull request to merge their changes to this master branch. Okay. So they will not be having direct access to merge these things. So one guy will be there who will be having admin access, either lead or some senior. So they will be reviewing your changes, whatever change you have done, whatever work you have done, they will do review of those work. Okay. And after that, if they'll find like it is okay, then they will merge it to master branch. Okay. This is how in any organization system works like this only. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can create branch branch check out branch and what is the difference between two branches okay and this kdf installation already we covered in last uh, video and uh, yeah so this is what few things we will be learning over here okay how to delete delete the branch etc so let's go and get started okay so the first command here is like git branch a dash a what it will tell like how what and all branches are available for that particular uh, code base okay so it will list all the branch names so where so here we were this is our working directory okay so let's go here and open git patch okay now now what is our first command our first command is git branch dash a okay so git branch So it is telling currently you have only one branch that is called master branch. Okay. To create branch, this is what the command is. Okay. Git checkout checkout dash b. Dash b means branch. Okay. And branch name. So for the snapshot, what we were we were having this. See, for tester a, we are creating some working branch for a. Okay. So working branch for a this is what we created okay just press enter c switch to a new branch working branch okay so what happens now in this command this command git check out my uh, dash b working branch. first it checked whether this branch is available or not if this branch is not available what it will do it will create a new branch okay if this branch will be available then it will just switch to that branch okay so here it was not there so it has created one new branch that is called called working branch for a and it has navigated there so here we can see what and all files are there okay ls c everything is there which was there in the market uh, there with the this master branch okay and you can see here the it got changed to this one earlier it was pointing to master and after that uh, this command it got changed to this one okay this is how we can create the branch okay so now creating branch is done comparing two branch okay now so currently we are in this branch okay let's update few things in this branch okay so i get uh, sorry vi editor will open for a.txt okay 
see here we have something this is really this is newly added file and this is what the content inside that uh, a.txt file so here some spelling spelling mistakes are there let me correct it okay ing okay adding and one more line will add corrected spelling mistakes okay yeah now press escape then colon then wq save and quit okay now our changes are there now let me put get status okay see here it is telling like modified one file you have modified a.txt okay for which branch this is the branch we have created and currently we are working in this branch okay let me add it okay so get add that staging environment now get commit git commit minus m and spelling correction okay Correct. Now it is done. Now type git status. See, it is telling nothing is there to commit. All working directory is clean. Now, see, one branch got created here for this guy for a like working branch for a. Now this guy has all the copies. What and all avail was available with this master branch. Every copy has came to this guy. Okay. Now this guy. See, this is this guy is also having a.txt master branch was there. The same copy was available to him. Now, what this tester has done, he has updated something based on his requirement. Okay. So now he has uh, updated and he has done the changes. And now let's switch to this master branch and check whether these changes are available or not. Why? Because see, he is having some separate branch to work uh, work with, right? And this is the master branch. So whatever work this guy is doing in his computer in his local system should not impact this branch right right so let's go and check to change branch okay just what you have to do git check out check out and branch name master okay so now now see it is telling you switch to master okay and in this master branch let's see the uh, what is there in that a.txt file a.txt okay the vi editor we are opening see here you can see still this this branch master branch is having old older older changes older uh, things okay the newly added things is not available over here okay so this is what the master branch is okay so press escape colon q just quit now again let me switch to this branch okay and we'll see whether whatever changes we have done it is available in that branch or not okay so git check out paste that branch name okay now see we switch to this branch okay now let me do vi a dot txt right this is the file we have updated see here these files are there it means means whatever changes changes a has done in his local repository it is there with him only it is not there in master branch okay perfectly fine so for from from here i'll explain so he has done changes in a.txt which is available to his branch only but not to the master branch okay we went to master branch we saw the old for all changes were there right and to to this new branch whatever he has done changes it was available to him okay now now we have one more command okay git diff branch one branch two what it will tell you it will show the difference between the two different branches okay so let's go and type that command and see let me maximize it clear everything git diff branch okay the first branch name is this one oh sorry this bracket should not be there okay and the other one is master right so that git diff and working br one branch name and another branch name see it is telling what it is telling you have removed this this and this and you have added this this okay so see what we are doing we are comparing this with this okay let me make it ulta so that it will be like 
more readable form. Just what it is telling now in your master branch, these files are not there. These are not there in your currently in your master branch. This is there. Okay, let me make it ulta. Okay, see the sequence what I am doing. Okay, master. See, it is telling in your this branch, these things are there, and this is not available. You have removed it or whatever you have done. So basically, it is telling what is the difference between those two branches. Okay, now. Now currently we are in this branch okay now let's get switch to not switch before that we have one more command to learn okay so see this is what it is showing in uh, console right to see it in ui ui which is like more clearer it will be like reading things in console it is like very difficult okay so we have do diff tool installed in the last class diff3 tool so let me go and just launch that one okay diff tool here just you have to write diff tool okay see just press y here it launched click here see here what it is telling so first one what is the name master so in your master this is what the file you have okay so this is the file initial file it was right we haven't changed in master we have just changed it in uh, the working branch for a right and in working branch for a this is what the your changes is so see easily you can compare and here it is like more readable right that's what uh, this tool is very useful and when we will be resolving our conflicts no then that time also this tool will be like very good so now so now we saw these commands also right comparing different using uh, ui like kdf3 tool okay and git checkout branch we already seen like whichever branch we want to switch we can switch it okay this is to delete branch this i'll be showing it to you later now now what will happen now this he changes okay this changes done in this branch it should get merged to the master branch so how we can merge it first we need to go to master branch git checkout Dot master because see master branch user is having admin access okay this guy can only uh, merge the two branches uh, changes okay so git merge merge just branch name you have to give which branch this is the working branch for a okay working branch for a perfect just hit enter see it has now updated that file okay now just do git status nothing is there now let's see vi a.txt see what it did you know whatever changes was there there in this branch it has merged to which branch master branch okay so here might be you will be seeing like uh, you'll you may feel confusing but don't worry about this because in ui we will not be doing these things we will be having branches created in github for separate so everything i'll be showing you know when i'll add my code base to github and then we'll create one branch and we will be change, doing changes we'll raise pull request and all those things everything once again i'll be showing it to you okay but this is important uh, in terms of like interview when you'll go in interview you know they'll ask these commands okay that's what so now now let's see whether after merging after merging whatever changes we have done in a.txt file in this branch whether it is available in master branch or not okay so vi a.txt where in master branch okay just enter see here adding one line adding here we have done corrected spelling mistake so both the places the files are same now okay just can q quit okay yeah so that's it for this video okay one more command is there to delete a branch okay so get nch branch that's it to show which and all branch are available so currently we have a working branch for a and this master branch okay so this is here you can see star mark so why it is showing star mark no because currently we are pointing to to master branch that's what is this star mark is showing over here if we will be pointing to this no let me check out and so git check out this branch okay perfectly git branch see 
see now this this star is coming over here it is in green it is indicating currently you are in this branch okay now again git check out check out master okay now git branch dash d d is for deleting the branch okay and give the name which branch you want to delete okay i want to delete this working branch for a okay just press enter now that branch got deleted okay now git b branch dash a see it is telling you have only one branch that is called master branch okay so this merge command i haven't added i'll add git merge and branch name okay so that's it for this this video guys so in next video uh we can see like how we can reset after committing suppose we have committed some wrong file got committed by mistakes and it got merged also okay so how to reset those things okay how to remove that so those things also very important that also you will be using it frequently and uh, and a few few other steps also for uh, other important steps i'll be showing in the next video so that's it for this video guys thank you bye bye